Ui. We have made it to what is considered the greatest Metal Gear game ever made. Metal Gear Solid 1? No. Metal Gear Solid 3? No. It's all about Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Let me tell you. So in the first game, we were playing as a rookie snake sent to this mission to, to stop this, uh, the first Metal Gear I believe ever made. And it, he was being tricked, he was being bamboozled, he was being misled the entire time by his commanding officer, Big Boss, who we then had to battle. Um, and we blew up in about five seconds with rocket launchers, and we escaped, and we blew up the Metal Gear and everything. Okay, so now we're, we're on to Metal Gear 2. The game sees Solid Snake. Oh, okay, well. The game sees Solid Snake was left special U4 units Fox and a single settle score against a nemesis big boss. I wish I could just read. Can I just. Uh, the story would later be known as the Zanzibar Land Disturbance, taking the drama of the series to all new heights is depicted for the reason Big Boss's actions and now soldiers have lost a sense of purpose. Very weird, weird way to, uh... You know what, hang on, Let, let's pick Metal Gear 2. And I bet if we just go to the manual, we can read... Metal Gear 2? That's right. Like, it even says technical espionage game. Wow. You think this would be like a like a high quality image? <laughs> Apparently not. Some I mean, of that's pretty blurry. Okay, story, here we go. With relations thawing between the great nations such as the US, Soviet, and China. Soviet? Isn't that the Soviet Union? <laughs> uh, localized conflicts were also easing, heading towards resolution, and the world was finally on the brink of welcoming an era of stability. By the late 1990s, the age of the threat of nuclear warfare had truly come to an end and a new century of stability. The 21st century was just over the horizon. However, there were some who did not favor peace. Trouble was brewing in the Middle East. A military regime had established itself in Zanzibar land. A small now, they make reference to Zanzibar land a lot in Metal Gear Solid, from what I remember. Um. All right. Uh. So it's going to be interesting going into this one. Uh, Zanzibar land conducted raids all over the world, going after repositories of nuclear weapons scheduled to be disarmed, seizing the ones that had yet to be disarmed. Having successfully become the world's sole nuclear power, it began to invade its neighbors indiscriminately. For a denuclearized world, Zanzibar land with its nuclear capabilities had literally become a menacing presence. Menacing. The threat of nuclear warfare was about to rear its ugly head once again in a world that had renounced nuclear capabilities. Imagine I'm like running for president and I'm, and I'm like discussing like denuclearization and like the threat of nuclear war, and I, I, I make a JoJo reference. Yeah, people would definitely vote for me. Uh, meanwhile, people had said that the world's oil resources would last... By the way, I can't move it to the right. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Uh, people said the oil's, world's oil resources would last another 30 years, but they were being depleted far more quickly than anticipated. Without a safe alternative source of energy to replace oil, I think we have that. I think the oil companies just... Okay, let's not get into that. The world was facing a serious energy crisis. In the midst of all this, a Czech biologist, Dr. Theo Marv, came up with a microbe, a microalgae, called Oilix that could refine... Is that Dragnix's brother? Oilix? Uh, refine oil into a highly purified state. Tensions were rising once again over the globe over this oil ex, but on his way from Czech to attend an academic conference in America, 
Dr. Marv, that's the guy from Home Alone, Marv, was kidnapped by Zanzibar Land. He was kidnapped by the entire, the entire, uh, region. Uh, through nuclear weapons and oil licks, Zanzibar Land is trying to secure its military dominance. The fate of the world now rests upon a microbe that measures mere microns across. Former Foxhound operative Solid Snake is given a top secret. Okay, so he... Saving the world from the threat of nuclear warfare again. Um... So I guess he's ex-Foxhound at this point. Well, I guess after the events of the first game, that's not too surprising. Yo, there's a crawl button? Hold up. Hold up. Yo. They got crawling in this? Punch button. Interesting. Cool. Alright, let's get into this. They mean that this one's about as long as the first game, so we'll probably be able to do it in two streams. Unless I really screw up. Oh yeah, so I do know one thing about this game. From what I remember from Metal Gear Solid 1... I believe... Kind of a spoiler alert. But also something to look forward to. I believe... Snake... Because you remember how Grey Fox shows up in the first game like for a split second, he's not really important at all. I think in this one... In Zanzibar Land... Snake and Grey Fox end up having, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think Snake describes it. In the middle of a minefield, they 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 hand-to-hand -hand combat each other. And that leads into Snake believing that Grey Fox is killed. And that's why it's a surprise that he shows up in Metal Gear Solid. So it'll be interesting to finally see that, the origin behind that. The story that he's referring to. In that first game. This is quite an extensive credits opening for a old game. Like, apparently, the only reason that Hideo Kojima even made this one is because uh, Konami decided to make a sequel, like an unofficial sequel to the first Metal Gear for the NES only, called. Snake's Revenge. Because uh, I guess the first game was popular enough, like in the West, that they're like, oh, we should make another one. And Hideo was like, I don't like that they did that. I I'm gonna make the actual sequel. Scenario. That just means that they were the writer. I used to see that phrase a lot, like, oh, I was the scenario. I did the scenario for this game. It, it's it's basically like it's it's they're the head writer. That's what that means. It's literally you, Solid Snake from Metal Gear. Also, Hero. Like a Ghostbusters rapper. The one sound effect in the game <laughs> was designed by that person. Game design, I, th I think, refers to kind of the meat of it. Like, how does the game play? <clears throat> how does it, like, you know... How is it going to be presented, all of that? Alright. Here we go. Metal Gear 2. Solid State. Registered. Trademark. Original, please. That is the Foxhound logo.
This is Snake. I've reached the infiltration point. Is that Colonel? Yep, that's Campbell. That's Colonel Campbell. Snake, right on time as always. So just imagine his voice as the, the grandpa from Ben 10. Let's get started. Commencing operation intrude FO14. Let's go over this one more time. The mission is to infiltrate Zanzibar land and rescue the kidnapped Czech biologist Dr. Keo Marv. Snake, we provided you with a new anti-personnel sensor. Try switching it on. Has my mic been muted this whole time? No, it hasn't, right? <clears throat> OBS said it was getting my input, but I just realized my mic was blinking as if it was supposed to be muted. I'm just waiting for someone to confirm that I wasn't muted the whole time, please. It's the tomato soup man. You started watching One Piece, well, you, you have a long way to go. Okay, I wasn't muted. Thank you, Banana. I've only seen this happen one time before, but for some reason, my microphone was blinking, which means that it should be muted. But I, I was looking at the, the input on OBS and it was it was going through, so weird. Which also is kind of sketchy, like what if I want to meet my Yeah, I don't know. Some I, I think it when you first boot up OBS sometimes that happens. Okay, anyways. Roger, okay, it's on. White dots on your radar. Oh wow, we actually have a radar in this one. The red dot is your current position. Radar is equipped with several other types of sensors as well. They should warn you of any unseen dangers. What's the radar's effective range? Take a look at your radar display. It shows a nine screen area centered on your position. However, it may not work in small enclosed spaces. The enemy spots so you won't be able to use the radar. Yeah. Look, it's so funny. Um, we were joking about this yesterday, but it seems like Hideo Kojima came up with all his ideas on the first Metal Gear game. Like, the original Metal Gear game for the MSX, and it's just, it's just, he kind of rehashes everything in every game that came after. <laughs> Got it, where can I find Dr. Marv? Well, Dr. Marv has a transmitter implanted in one of his molar teeth. When you get close to him, he'll show up as a red dot on your radar. Okay. Uh, same frequency. Same frequency you, you use in every freaking Metal Gear game. Wow, you actually have to turn around before you start moving. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. If that makes any sense, like if you... See what I mean? There's like a little turnaround animation. It's actually faster to like turn left or right than do a full 180. The punching feels a little more, like you can crawl. That's crazy. That's so wild to me. I, I, didn't, I had no idea there was gonna be crawling. We can punch. We have our cigarettes. Cigarettes may smoking may be hazardous to your health. I bet you they didn't even have the, the original version of the game. That little surgeon's general warning. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry any, because I don't have the gun yet. Use crawling to sneak through gaps in the fence over and out. Oh yeah. Uh, kind of weird. The fence blocks. Because uh, it's, it's a really thick fence. Uh-oh. Oh, 
I'm on level 3 alert. Well, that's not fair. That dude was right there. Oh, no. Oh, this ain't good for old Jay. At least these guys are pretty slow. Our alert level is still slowly going down. There we go. Oh no! He heard me punch the wall. What was that noise? Is that a door? What is this? Huh? Well this just seems to be a dead end. There's a hole in the fence I can't see. I don't think so. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. There's a hole in the fence down there. I was kind of running from people. Oh, I... I have missed some stuff, but... You can kind of crawl walk a little bit. Interesting. Kind of goofed up there a little. Yeah. I'll just go in the back of the truck, no biggie. Oh, go holy crap, that gun's as big as I am. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Yeah, I do. I have 30 shots. I'm just gonna crawl in there. I can make it. Oh, where the hell that guy came from off screen? Man, these enemies be coming from off screen though. Damn, whole game's restart from the beginning, I guess. You know what? I need to be looking at that radar up there more, because I probably would have seen that he was going to come off screen there. Man, this one's already going to be a lot harder, I can tell. Because in the other one, they had to be directly in your line of sight. But in this one, it seems like... Oh, I should have stocked up on rations right here. I didn't even notice. Well, it also depends on if it'll... doesn't respawn like in the other game. Oh no. This ain't good. They really have the evasion timer and everything. check to make sure that the ration is spawn. Like, maybe you have to go off screen. Because that was a really important... Yeah. That was a really important part of the, the first game was, like, stocking up on ra the respawning rations, but apparently that's not going to work like that here. Aw, oh, come on! I don't know where, where you would even hide in this one. 
My alert's not going down because they can see me still again. If I go in the truck, they're gonna magically all know that I'm in the truck suddenly, so I can't go in there. You'd think that would be a good place to hide, but it doesn't work like that. Can I just take everyone out and then... Oh my god, see there's no- like I don't know where they're coming- The fact they can come off screen, but you don't have your radar when you're an alert, and that's when you need to know if they're coming off screen more than ever. Hey. I don't know if they just keep respawning, I would hope not. If they don't, then at least we could just like take them all out eventually. I'm sure he was going to turn down at the last second. That guy went up, but there's no one up there now. I think they just respawn. Because we took out a bunch of guys right there, and they're still... Like, like come on! This ain't, ain't too great so far. I'm gonna try my best to avoid them. I wanna pretend this is like... To be fair, when it comes to most Metal Gear Solid games, except three and two, so I guess it's mainly just the experience I had with 1 and 4. Um, the hardest part of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 4 is the very first part of the game. And then as you go on, the game gets easier and easier. So maybe this one is like that. Oh man! Them, like, being able to walk in off screen is, like, gonna give me so much trouble. Because there's no, like, clear place to hide. Like, you could in, like, a 3D Metal Gear Solid game. Look, and, like, right there, like, I try to run away and then they just all came down a straight line there. So, like, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna try to make a run for the door. I'll, I'll have to try to pick up that gun on the way, too, I guess. See how well that goes. Everything's a damn fence. Look, I couldn't even get behind cover before the guy, the guys followed me in here. But look, they could see me from the right side, anyways. So still, it's not really cover. I just have to, I just have to hope that the path clears out for me to go to where I need to go. What? Can't sneak in through the front door, use the vents. Yeah, I was going to. There's a vent on the right, but I remember. Also, let's pick up that gun. Oh, he's coming this way? Are you kidding me? No! <sighs> I didn't mean to walk outside. Oh my god. Yeah, just walk. Walk in from off screen even though you were nowhere near this area. That's That makes sense. Screw you guys. Uh... 
Is that the title drop? What the hell? No, it's just a loading. I they had a title drop. Well, the first Metal Gear game was was very rough around the edges, but it, it was not this hard to, like, stay out of the enemy's sight, line of sight, until I get out of alert. Like, I'm not sure where exactly you're supposed to be able to hide when they do that. It doesn't seem like there is anywhere you can really go. Well, I don't want to crawl down there. So really, that's just kind of my main problem so far. Because in the first Metal Gear, you had to be, like, directly in their line, like, like, straight in the same line as them for them to actually see you. But in this one, it's like, as long as you're anywhere on the side that they're looking, they seem to see you immediately, and then I don't know how you're supposed to... I don't think I could get down from here. Oh, so this ammo respawns. I can't care anymore. I had the, the ration. Like, I just remembered I had this. It contains beef, pork, ham, and eggs, tuna fish, chocolate, and crackers. Okay, I never knew that. Now we know what's in the rations in Metal Gear. Pretty much everything. this? Holly. I'm Holly White? What the heck? Walter White's daughter? I infiltrated Zanzibar land a month ago, posing as a journalist, so I know pretty much how things work around here. I'll help you any way I can. I think it's 140.15. Call me later. Alright. Do we have a, a list? Okay, we do have a list here. This was probably added in this port as well, if I had to guess. Open this door. I hope we checkpointed when we. In the other game, you had to. Here we go, so you could probably hide under here. Okay. Can't move. God damn it! I was gonna say you can't move left and right once you are under there. Unfortunately, you can only come out the same way. They're never. Ah, the alert's never gonna go away, is it? Because they know where I am, and if I stick my head out, I'm dead. Solid Snake better than Big Boss, Double O? Is that how you really feel? Can I fire my gun while crawling? Oh my god, get up! Get up, Snake! Pretty good. Nope, can't open any doors yet. Oh boy, maybe we can open this door? Oh my god, see, like, you never get the chance to hide. Because before you can run away... Before you can get to a hiding spot in the next screen, another person pops up on the other screen. Here we go. 
I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to go right now. <sighs> I feel like I'm back where I started. The national anthem. Okay. Good thing that happened. Um. Wait, like was anything in here though? There's nothing. Maybe I kind of opened those doors because I was on alert. Ah, here we go. Finally, elevator. Hello. Or if you can't use these if you're on alert. Hurry, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, it's still not letting me use it. I'm guessing you just can't use the elevator right now. You probably need a card for it. I'm just not used to needing a card for it. What am I in a hotel? Try those doors again, maybe. Maybe you have to like not be on alert. And when you see me, I freaking knew that was gonna happen. And then these guys who were not where they were before suddenly show up. Oh, okay, yeah, shoot me through the solid. Ground. I really can't open these. Like, I don't know still, because last time I was here, I was on alert. Ah! I hope they checkpointed me somewhere. Okay, so when we came in from here. I'll help you any way I can. Okay, how the hell do I... Well, what do I do? Where do I go? I call her right now, let's see. Oh. In a shooting game. I can't believe the, the colonel called this a shooting game. This isn't a game colonel, this is real life. Bye. <laughs> 
God damn it, see I wanted him to move so I could try opening the door when I'm not on alert, but of course never gonna get the chance to, are we? Yeah, I think I they didn't see me. now? Nope. Okay, so just the whole time I couldn't open those doors anyways. How do they want me to do? I've already been in here. It was just those two guys looking at the red screen. Okay, cool, now what? It's the only door I've been able to go into so far. Am I just look up where the hell I'm supposed to go? I have no idea. No one's helping me. I said this isn't a good time. Okay. This isn't a good time. Like, all I could think is this elevator, but like, I don't... It, it won't open for me. Maybe I have to wait for someone else to go into the elevator? Let's see. through a drainage ditch. Wait. God damn it, I'm not trying to skip it. I'm just trying to make the text show up faster. I hope he repeats what he said. Oh, he said he's just telling me about what steps now. I guess he just gives us general tips. Okay, whatever. He was saying, talking about something else, but I missed it. <sighs> really? You're gonna turn around right there? Shut up. Nonsense. They always go around in a full circle. Why would that guy turn around? If I at least knew where I was trying to go, this wouldn't be so frustrating. It's like, I have no idea what I'm doing.
I don't know what to do. I was hoping not to have to look up a freaking guide for the first thing in the game. I'm just running in circles and I'm going to doors I've already tried before, like what's the point? the front door. I don't know what to do, man. Okay, I'm gonna look it up because otherwise I'm just like 40 minutes in and I'm just still in the first area just running around in circles. Because I'm starting to not even feel like playing this. It's getting very tiresome. Okay, he's into the building. In the tank room. Okay, why did the door open for him? Oh, no, that's the computer room. Okay. So he's in the computer room. The, the salute. Comes on. The national anthem plays. He leaves. Okay. Why does. Okay, so he used the elevator. How did he use the elevator? He punches it. Okay. So they changed the, the... For some reason... The way you open doors... Whatever. You never had to punch the elevator to, to activate it. God. In the first game, that's not how the elevators worked. <laughs> like, you either just walk into it, or... The interact button would generally be the top face button, I think, and that wasn't it. Just freaking punch the elevator. I could remember where that was. I just know it's not in here.
Oh, yeah, I think I remember. I think it's in. Cool. That's in. I have to punch the button. Because that's how you open elevator doors. You freaking punch them. I like how people came out of it. get a chance to get away from you. Okay. I'm punchable. Hard one. Wow. just in time. So the elevator is right there in the middle of the map. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Yeah. Ah, of course. Oh, ration. I would have died by that bullet. I didn't. Grab that. Binoculars. Okay, we could probably leave the floor now. I don't think there's anything. Unless the rations right there respawn, but I doubt it. They didn't put the floor. That would have been too good to be here. Yeah, on that on that floor it seems like it's your footsteps are louder. I did notice that. You guys gonna leave? I'm gonna need you guys to leave. Thank you. Get up snake, get up snake. Okay. That's an enormous computer mouse on the left side. Look at the cyber lounge. What the hell is that? Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander or the game designer. Okay, why do you... The colonel keeps breaking the fourth wall here. Punch wall. You might see possibilities you couldn't see before over and over. The colonel just gives you, like... <sighs> he just gives you, like, general vague advice. Oh, 
two underground floors, four above ground floors. The first floor houses the central command, the hangar, and the factory. R and D. I don't know what that is. See ya. I guess you just want to run through. Dust. There's a dust hole up there. Oh, that's gonna be lasers, isn't it? Yep. The boy already. Did. What? No, I look. I check. Oh my god, the, the lasers probably move. God damn it. Gas mask. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do move. What? Shut up. I happen to walk into the path of a laser from off screen. Enough of this off screen shenanigans. I am sick of it. Dust. Oh no, I fell down the dust. Holy crap, where am I going? Colonel, where am I? I'm not the Colonel. This isn't a good time to talk. Okay. Legit. Oh my god. The Colonel's useless. Useless! Oh boy, trash. Oh no, it's the rolling... Oh no, what do I do? I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die right now. I'm legit gonna die. What? Come on! Oh, damn it! I didn't have time to like analyze the situation at all. Hopefully, I respawn at a good spot. Oh, okay. But there's a door down here. I didn't even notice. I like how it made me throw the trash away. What if I wanted the trash? Huh? Louis? Uh. They were in basement too. Goggles. The goggles. They do nothing. Wow, ammo. Dead. Not super helpful when I only have one gun. Well, now that I have the card, I could check the first floor again. Although there's still like a higher up floor I've never checked. Wait, why did it go straight to two? What? 
It skips floor one. What kind of elevator is this? Okay, whatever. It tells me Kojima's never used an elevator before. Floor 4 is the only one I haven't checked out yet. Let's see if it even lets us through here. I wasn't even in his line of sight yet, man. What the? I was clearly still behind that wall. Oh, he dropped a ration. Hell yeah. I should really need that. Wait. This one has beans, meatballs, beans, and franks, and beef and potatoes. It has... It has beans twice over. Fortunately, it doesn't work on this door. There's one other door, and it better work on one of them or we're in trouble. Well. Officially lost. Well, I wonder where did I find the card? Was that in the third floor? So maybe I could check the second floor again. I could also check the the anger door. See if there's any doors here that kind of previously opened. Just walk up or left. Uh oh. Good boxes. up there? What the hell? That wasn't there before. What? You can't hold more than one ration at a time? Oh, hell no. Where did they go? That's ridiculous. One ration at a time. Get out of here with that nonsense.
Of course that was gonna happen. Why have a place to hide? Look at that, look how much your health goes down. You'll die in three shots. And you're only allowed to have one ration at a time? Ridiculous. And I wasn't even supposed to be up here anyways, because apparently I can't, I can't. Hang on, let's see. No, I'm pretty sure I had the card up. This is where I found the card in the first place. So yeah, I don't even know where I'm supposed to use this card at. Oh, I have this ration. Waste of a damn ration. Trapped in here with me. Maybe there was something I missed up here. I can't go in this door anyways, so yeah, once again, this is just... I'm not even meant to be here. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Maybe down here? Oh. This is where we found the gas mask, I think. Can't use the card to progress. Floor one can't use the card to progress. Floor three can't use the card to progress. Floor four we can't even go onto it really. Let me check again just in case. Have you seen the new clerks? I know they did a clerks 3 recently. I haven't seen it. We closed the store to play Metal Gear Solid for. I can't even really explore this. Basement 2, I think, was just the freaking sewer. Oh, I never came down here. Where's our freaking little kid over there? 
looked like mess. Wow, this was it the whole time. I missed this side. Oh, actually, oh, I came down from... I need to go up here. I guess there's a chance you could find something in the trash that's good. I just happened to pick up trash. Fish. Bread? Wait, what did it say? Konami? Hold up. I didn't take the time to... says Konami Paradigm. What's Konami Paradigm? What the hell? In one Konami Gaming purchased a small slot machine company called Paradigm Gaming. Is this a possible job at the company? <laughs> that, that'd be really funny. Because we know Konami's all into like the Pinko machine stuff now. They said this is trash, this is useless. I don't know what to do next. I'm gonna have to check the freaking. Wow, I am so far behind. This is a five hour playthrough, and they're at the 20 minute mark, and they're already somewhere I'm not. What the hell did I miss? Oh my god, okay, so I need to go to the third floor. Is that the level one card? I hope it is. Yeah. I thought I had checked. Really not. Okay. See if I can even get to the third floor with this elevator, because this one likes to skip floors for. supposed to go down here. Somehow I missed this third door on this elevator area and of course that was the one I didn't check. Oh great. Oh gas? What the heck? This just looks like the scientist from the first game. Art. Hey, hey, hey. Foolish foxhound. Dr. Marv is in here. So they literally did the same thing from the first Metal Gear game. 
it's it's a decoy scientist, I guess. Uh, you would use such a cheap transmitter. You guys are really behind the times. Yo, is that Gray Fox? Black Ninja? Okay, never mind. That's just, like... Gray Fox is a Gray Ninja. I am Black Ninja, a former member of NASA's Extraterrestrial Environment Special Forces Unit. Now, let's see just how strong the world's most advanced Black Ops unit really is. Show me what you've got, Foxhound. I don't wanna... Oh, he teleports? Throws ninja stars. I guess that makes sense. I hit him once. <laughs> Can I shoot? Oh, I can shoot through here. I didn't think I could shoot through the boxes. Okay, this will be a lot easier now. I have to jinx myself. I think I have plenty of ammo. One more hit. Not yet, but he's almost dead, I guess. Oh, he fell. Snake. Who are you? Oh, wait, that's me. Who are you? How do you know my name? It's, it's me, Schneider. Wait, what? Schneider was the head of the resistance who was helping us in the first game, I think? Schneider, you were in the resistance at Outer Heaven. But I thought they killed you. You've still got a lot to learn, Snake. I was almost killed, but not by them, by you and your country. What are you saying, Hyder? Snake, after you destroyed Metal Gear, NATO launched a massive bombing campaign against Outer Heaven. All of us resistance fighters and the children of Outer Heaven, they didn't care about any of us. There was no escape from the flames. They died like animals in a cage. I can't believe this. Think about it, the children of Outer Heaven were originally war orphans and refugees from all over the world. They were a liability and NATO didn't want to deal with them. No. You're no different, they'll forget about you too, but he wasn't like them. Who? He came and saved us from annihilation. He forgave us for what we'd done. He gave us a new land to call home, a new family. He did? You mean... Snake, you'll understand soon. What a wonderful man he is. Snake, I owe you a debt. There's no hate between us. I'll tell you where Dr. Marv is. It's what he would want me to do. Find the man who's guarding the cell where Doc Dr. Marv is being held. Follow that man and he should lead you straight to the cell. You could tell him by his green beret. He should be on the first floor, got that? Okay. Follow the man in the green beret. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he exploded! Just like all the Metal Gear Solid 3 bosses. And they auto-killed me, that's nice. And we got a new card. There we go, progress. Really? Come on now. It's so stupid, like, as soon as you walk on the screen, it's like, oh, you walked into a laser. A trip laser. Out of here. By the way, where is it now? That's so I might be able to. Open the door on the right here now. My ah, oh, the freaking camera. Yep. Mind detector. I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Yes. Alright, 
I see this door on the left can be open, huh? Although I guess we're supposed to go follow the man in the green beret. Maybe we should do that first. I don't know, because we did find that mine detector, and we didn't go there first. Right. So let's check floor two real quick. I think there's at least like one door on the left I haven't been able to open. Yet. Yeah, right there I think. It was nothing. Huh. <laughs> can open it while crawling. Flashlight. Oh, suppressor. Alright, cool. Uh, well. I don't remember if there's any more doors. They're trapped in here with me. Gear. You know what? This opens with two. Let's check this area out. Oh, there's a freaking trap door! Holy crap. I barely avoided it, too. The moon door? What the hell is this? Uh. Classic. Whoa, submachine gun. Ah, oh come on! I wasn't even close to being your line of sight. Oh, this game. They don't know where I am, right? Oh my god, of course they do. Of course they do. We all magically know you're down there. Over yourself. God, these trap doors are freaking very Okay. Uh yeah, we better Oh you know what? There's a door up here I could try. I couldn't open that door before, maybe now I can. Oh my god, of course. Nope. Oh wait, I could open that before, I just didn't need to. Great. I'm gonna die, probably. Let's just... You're not in the sewers, shut up. You guys don't hang around in the sewers. Nonsense. Who's that kid over there? Oh, you know what? This is the perfect place, actually, because I could get rations from the trash. So if it's red or blue, we know it's useless for sure.
green. I didn't read even read what that one was, but let's see. What was it in the replay? Oh, it was a cigarette butt. Snake would have wanted that. Should have let him keep it. Red is at the Konami Paradigm. Not a fishbone. I can't remember what color the ration was. I thought it was just maybe, let's see, brown? Nope. Okay, so the colors don't matter because I got a cigarette butt on green last time. Gray, I thought for sure. There we go. There we go. Gray. Good. I thought it was like just a normal trash bag color last time. It means beef, pork, ham, and eggs, tuna, fish, chocolate. And... Let's see if we could get another one. Oh, perfect. We'll see Ness again. It's Ness. I think it's time to follow Green Beret Guy. Gotta find Green Beret. Got him. See me. Oh, I might be able to open one of those doors up there now. I have the second card key. Maybe, maybe, maybe Green Beret guy's in one of those doors. Because I never saw a Green Beret guy down here. I think he would have stood out. Yeah, I guess this is a safe place to make the evasion go away. I 
man. Got him. There we go. There's Green Beret. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Okay, he didn't see me. Also, his beret changed colors. I guess I should have fought him from the bottom, not the top. Use the binoculars to see the kid? Oh. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you're right. I could have looked the screen over and see where the kid went. I forgot I had those, honestly. Damn it, where'd Green Beret guy go? Oh my god, I screwed up. Holy crap. Jungle. Was I supposed to be following him in the jungle? Oh, there he is. Oh, you need to follow his path in the jungle or else you get lost. That makes sense. being hella sneaky. I think this is the building though. Well, maybe not. Nope. Completely wrong. I wonder what that leads to. No! Oh, that's so stupid. I accidentally walked left and it changed the whole environment. Stupid. It's so stupid. Now I have to... Oh my god. Do that all over again. I just was like trying to tap left to like be careful that I wasn't his line of sight. <sighs> oh, I mean that was would have been fine if we just did that on our first try, but the fact that I have to restart it now. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it cut all the way to the one I was already at. And look, he didn't even turn around. Yeah, 
Either it cut to where I was already at, or it, it was gonna loop back around anyways. Maybe he takes an extra long route to be extra safe. He like loops around on purpose. Okay, this is back to the building again. So the next screen over will be where we left off, I guess. And still this. So this technically is looping around, but it's taking the long way, I guess. Holy crap! I think he makes you think you you want to rush to catch up, but then he just turns around on you. So we have to look up the manual. Tap for the first row, two taps for the second row. Alright, we 
need to leave and come back. It's literally Morse code. Oh, hang on, someone's calling. The tap code. You already told me that. literally giving us a, a numbered code so wait oh okay you go down and then to the right so two four Zero. Eight. Oh my god, hang on. I need to make sure I get this for sure. One, four, zero, eight. Damn it, what's that last one? Happening so quickly. this was the best game ever. Well, we're doing Mars Code right now. I think it was one... Damn it. Okay, let's start it over. One. Four. Zero. Damn it, that lot. It's it's hard like trying to keep track of what number it is, and then also trying to count down the rows on a screen in front of me instead of like if I had it like on a piece of paper maybe. You only know SOS. Actually, it's not, it's not Morse code, it's a tapping code. It's similar, though. Okay. So, 140, that's the first three. And let's, so let's go from there. Let me write that. Okay, let's go back in. Four. Zero. Eight. Two. Eight two? Is that how it ends? One forty eight two? Oh, that would be that would be um that sounds like a uh a, a, a one of these. Yo I see you figured out my code. Where's Dr. Marv? It's been a while, eh, Solid Snake? Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar, how did you? Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. Oh, this was the, the doctor from the first game. We didn't speak each other's language, but we were scientific comrades after a fashion. I was captured along with Marv while we were in America. Where's Dr. Marv? He was moved from here to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it, I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building? Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? 
They must need you for something, and that means... Yes, Metal Gear. Snake, it is here in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago was only a prototype. The new improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. They're also working on a light version for mass production. Then it was Metal Gear that attacked the nuke disposal sites. Precisely, Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is unleashed only when it is armed with a nuclear weapon. Zanzibar Land now only has the only nukes in the world, and now they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who's behind it. Big Boss? What? Big Boss is dead. I blew him up with rockets. The very same with Metal Gear and Oilix. He plots to rule the world. He cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Big Boss was bl Big Boss was blown to smithereens. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Marv's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. They use drugs on him. He won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STV. You get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. And now, what are you going to do? The wall separating us made his problem armor plate. You can't blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Nick. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Nick. My daughter Ellen's a fan of yours. She's not married yet, and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, jo Johan Jacobson, who lives around here. Reach him on frequency 14040. I'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. What is this, Metal Gear Solid 3? Don't worry, I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Thank you, Snake. Okay. Metal J Solid. Why does Foxhound use animals for codenames anyway? Who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it over and over. That's his, that's his uh, way of greeting us for the first time. Doesn't look like there's room for another giant room like that, but okay. Well, where the heck do we go now? Like we got a new card or anything. I wonder if I should keep this tap code. Yes, we need. So it's cool, like if you have the manual, it's like oh you have the tap code. But um when it comes to this version of the game, obviously we don't just have the manual with it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put this image just in its own. Uh, Reddit sucks because if you try to just put an image, like a raw image address, it still like puts you on a Reddit page. It's kind of annoying. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. Open it and just. real quick to see if there's something else I needed to do. I think we just go back. video I was checking for reference. The portraits of the characters are different. It's like the doctor we were talking to looked like Albert Einstein. Watch out you're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. Ellen? Or is it Gray Fox? Or is it Master Miller? Or is it Deep Throat? Anyways, I have a mind detector, thankfully. 
What the hell? I have the mine detector equipped. Why didn't it do anything? Oh, they're on the radar in this version of the game. God damn. Of course they are. Idiot. See, in the first game, they, they show up on the actual, like, field as dots. What? Okay, I thought I was off to the side enough, or else how would you freaking get- Okay, I hope the checkpoint's in a good spot. Please. Okay, good. I'd better answer the call again. I wonder if they show up on our list now. Your number one fan. They're there. Alright. Try this again. Should be a wide enough space. Maybe I have to crawl. Oh, you can pick up the mines if you crawl. I think that might be a thing. You, yeah, that's a thing you can do in. That's a thing you can do in like one of the older games, I think. Or older games. This is older than the games I'm thinking of. In one of the 3D games, but I don't really remember. I should just- that means you don't even need the detector, you can just crawl. Or maybe- maybe you do need the detector to pick them up. That's Singing Sand, imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. Pardon me? It squeaks when you walk on it, the sand will give your position away, so be careful. Well, good thing I came in crawling. I want to see what's in that truck. here with that I saw you from up there behind a truck nonsense oh now I can hold more than one ration oh there's two different types okay there's there's more okay Yum, ham, chicken, and turkey, spaghetti, cheese, and coffee, my favorite. Oh, there's something big up there. Oh, is it a tank? I don't know if I have enough mines to fight it. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up some more mines. Let's see, maybe there's some more mines over here. No, there isn't. They would have showed up on the radar. Oh no, it's a hind, which I would need a grenade launcher to fight. I don't have no damn grenade launcher. Oh, it's actually flying this time too. Oh. up in the sky. I can't even reach it. I can't go up here. How the hell would I even fight this thing? something? I need to go back to find a... 
weapon to fight this with? I don't think I'm supposed to fight this yet. I think I need a weapon. Okay, uh... I need to leave this area. something I'm missing. Someone's gonna see me. Hey, go down. All right. I'll just pick up mines along the way. It's funny that we could just pick up armed mines. Mines are supposed to be like notoriously difficult to. They mentioned that in Metal Gear Solid, actually. I guess Snake's next too. I thought White was always... Oh, it's Ness. Hello, Ness. He told us this is a bottomless swamp and it's too dangerous to get close, but... I saw a big truck driving through here, you believe me, right? spots you need to walk on, I think. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Right this side. Oh no! Jeez, I didn't really. I should look at the radar. But there's no device you could have to see the. Uh, So why is there a kid on this military base anyway? 
go. Ah. Trucks come in and out of here all the time. Apparently. Try the binoculars? Yeah. Well, I can talk to the kid now, so I don't know. There's a guy up there. Oh geez, maybe I should have checked. I wonder if I could get up there. Hmm. Running man! Damn it, I skipped the first box. I was about to go for a little run! I can't believe that the next boss is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the running man. Let me see if I can read that first text box I missed. No, I completely skipped it, I think. Yeah. I just completely skipped it. YouTube streams that. Okay, whatever. He's about to go for a little run. That's the important part. All we really need to know. I am running man, the world's fastest mercenary. No one can keep up with me. All right. Uh, I'm surprised they never brought this guy back for the 3D games. See for yourself. Wow, look how fast he is. That's actually hilarious. That's like the most average speed I've ever seen. Pam Pam, what do you think? Pretty fast, eh? But I'm just getting warmed up. Hear that sound? That's a nerve gas. If you move before the gas gets in, you might survive. Oh, screw you. Why is Snake not chasing this guy? Oh, I gotta set mines down, clearly. But I wanna do. I just stepped on my own mind like a genie. Yay! Dude, he's running into the mines. I'm a genius. Oh, I ran into my own mine. What a genius I am. I'm sure they're gonna checkpoint us at the boss. It'd have to be... What? All the way over here? Ah! Oh, screw them. What the hell? What? That's stupid. Clearly you need mines for that fight. And so you need to have gone here first. Why would they do that? So... That's stupid. Now I gotta pick these mines up all over again, and then I gotta go... ...through that swamp again. There's a ration up in one of those trucks, and I'm not going to bother because I don't want to deal with those guys. 
I don't think there was anything else, really. I think it was just that, that chopper that I can't fight yet. Oh, maybe I should look just in case. You did not see me, screw you. I think right here there's that other rush. And... Right, we'll just take that and get the hell out of here. I wonder if I go up here now, if it'll save. Do I need to get my number one fan again? I don't even have... I didn't even have that saved. right over there what why am i drowning why i just went i went to the right and i went too far okay so i started going to the left and i never made it back to the surface watch when i have to grab all the mines all over again of course i do what the hell was that oh my god why you should always have checkpoints before a boss fight. No reason to make the player have to go through all this again. Imagine if I never even figured out you could pick these mines up. Like this. going for that rationing. I'll get it on the way back. We actually go deal with the chopper.
Let's get to this platform first. Come on. And then there's some way to get up there from here. Probably need the boss, the card from the boss up there anywhere to get to that door in the bottom if I had to guess. Placing the bonds where his path would be. Looks like I read the first text box again. Let's see how what it is. What, what did we miss? A visitor. What a pleasant surprise! And just in time too. I was about to go for a little run. I am running, man. Look how fast he is. It's like he's slow on purpose, right? Like that's. that's yeah. I feel like most of us could run faster than that. Okay, so we just need to follow his path so you can see where he runs. Just have to place the mines. Right here, like he has no choice but to run him. I was not hearing him run into the ones up there, though. Kind of worrying. Yeah, what the hell? That was his the path he took. I guess they changed. What? How did he not hit that mine? That was literally along his path. Cool. I guess he jumped over it. Or probably it's just you can't, he can't run into more than, he's invincible for a few seconds of course, because you could definitely tell that while he's off screen. Cool, so now we gotta do this all over again. I would've been completely fine with that boss fight if they just freaking checkpointed us, but the fact they don't, it makes it a big pain. Like, you can't have a... You can't have a boss fight where it's like, you're likely to die because it's very unclear what's happening, and then also not have a checkpoint right before it. You gotta choose one or the other. Swamp again. Boy, oh boy, do we just love the swamp. Okay, 
Well, you know what? I think you start off more well, end up going to the fight. Save the sec when I went and grabbed the second ration? Okay. I saw to pick up all the mines though, which you need for the boss fight. Make sure to carefully watch his run path. So he can just not do that run path every time. Because that time he did a different. But I guess we gotta really place these mines really far apart, is what I'm thinking. If only I could have my mine detector on to see if. There's, you know, mines left behind, but the problem is... You only hit one mine. Okay, another one. I need to have my gas mask on, too. See, there was a mine here. God damn. No! How, how is he skipping both of those mines? He has to run down that path. It doesn't make sense. This is so stupid. Oh, I have 15 mines already, so I, don't, I can't, I don't have to be picking them up anymore. Cool. It's not telling me that you can't pick up anymore like any other time you try to pick up ammo. It's such like a fine idea for a boss fight, but it just the execution is garbage. Like, oh, plant mine so when he's running, but it's like can't see where he's running, so you don't know if he's actually hitting the mines you planted. Come on, don't do this. Well, great, we have to restart again because of the stupid swamp. Even though you just run in one direction and then run back in the other direction to get back on, but somehow that's not enough. Is it worse than Fat Man and Metal Gear Solid 2? The Fat Man wouldn't have been as bad if I knew that you could detect the mines, but I had to use the older mine detector, not the improved mine detector. Which the whole point of the improved mine detector was, oh, you can't read his mines anymore. He made them too complicated, so you have to use this new one I invented. So you had to start using the new one. And then when the boss battle started, the first thing I was like, oh, can I detect the mine? So I tried the mine detector and it didn't work. I was like, okay, I guess not. But no, it turned out you had to use the older one. 
So if I had known that, it would have made the fight a lot better. This probably wouldn't even be that bad. It's just the fact that they keep making me go through this freaking swamp every single time. I'm not even going to be careful with this guy. I don't care anymore. And you have to have the gas mask on to stop, because if, if you run out of oxygen, I think you just die. And you have to beat him before the oxygen runs out, so like, I also can't use... It. I guess I could switch it on and off, but it just, it's dangerous. So I'm gonna have to... I'm already running out of oxygen. Damn it, so he doesn't walk right- He walks right there when you look at him walking, and that's when you should think, oh, okay, I need to pay attention to what his path is. But no, it's a lie. He doesn't actually walk that path. Damn lie. Okay, so my health slowly goes down. How did he not step on that? Good thing I had two ration. He's almost dead. I just heard that noise. Okay, he's dead. Finally. <laughs> Watch when I step on a mine and die now. Okay, there's still one more mine over there. Let me pick it up. You, you used my speed against, what's your name, Snake. You weren't even running fast, Solid Snake. Snake, the cheetah has lost to a snake, how could this happen? Guess you weren't fast enough. Explodes. It's like all the Metal Gear Solid 3 bosses. So we healed off of that, card 3, okay. The melody here is a little, like, Mega Man-esque. How's there a building down there with people in it, but I can't... Oh, that's right, there was a door. In fact, I could probably open that door now. Kids? I know what that is, it's a Stinger missile. They took some to the factory on the west side of Zanzibar building's first floor the other day. Said they were gonna put them on some tanks. I'm gonna need that to fight the, the copper. I hate people who use guns. I would never use a gun. Also, what do you mean? What do you mean that? You know what that is? What are you talking about? It's so a west side of Zanzibar building's first floor. You know what, I probably just got the card needed for that, so I can go back to that building and then I can... Of course, he has to see me because there was... Oh, I planted a mine! Good job, Jay. In the first game, they actually made sure that if you're exiting an area, like for the most part, like... Oh, if, it, if an enemy could would normally just see you, 
they won't see you like they'll be looking a different direction. Weird that in this one they're like, oh spirit, well they see you. Oh, can I not even get in here? Oh, okay. So yeah, we just go back to the first building. Again. Cool, that means we get to go through here again. Boy, my Like now we know the way, we won't get lost again, so we don't have to follow the green beret guy anymore. Yep. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was gonna see me. No, this is a stinger. The Nikita's like the little one that you like control, like RC control. This one is the ones you friggin' auto lock onto choppers. Uh, six. Is that all I need? You can attack enemies off screen if they're on radar. That's it, so we gotta make sure we use... Of course.
think my, it seemed like 15 was the max before. I wonder if I leveled up. My health bar does look maybe a little bit larger. I think every time you beat a boss in this game, rank up, it's just not as obvious. Because you don't have big stars telling you what rank you are. Oh, come on. I... Russian? Yes. Alright. Oh, how the hell this is gonna work? Oh! Holy crap, can we just shoot at it from here? I hope so. I hope it doesn't be. You know what? I don't want to risk having to screwing this up and having to uh, go back and grab that all over again, so... Confirm. Hang on, I wonder if the uh, running man has a different name. I'm con I'm I'm curious to see if this version. Uh, yeah, no, I'm running man. Okay, same name. But when you beat him, he says rate. He says. Maybe you raced to your death. Snake says that to him instead of saying... Um, I think in, in the version I played, he said... You weren't fast enough, I guess. I think race to your death actually sounds better. Got the Nikita. This guy's doing something else, too. Oh! Oh! There's another idea I should have grabbed as well. Let's see. That was my bad. I figured just, okay, go. You know, maybe we get it on the way back. Let me see real quick. Yeah, it looks like you only need the six. But then when he gets up there... Yeah, I'm gonna need that ID that I didn't grab. Okay, good thing I checked. His real name's Jim Stevenson. Snake should've said, you're too slow. Okay, so we're not gonna initiate this battle. ID I needed to get. Oh yeah, the o Okinawa. Is that a real thing, singing sand from Okinawa? Can I have some in a jar? Banana, would you eat singing sand if you had it? I think most people would have went to the copper first. I'm guessing I can't. Oh, it's just a convenience thing. So now cards one through three. Oh, okay. All right. 
Well, okay, so I wasn't actually necessary, but it, it is, that is more convenient. But I think he just grabbed it and then he went back to the chopper. When he doesn't do anything else. This time I should just check before I go to the chopper. Okay, so he gets the red card. Yeah, and then he just he leaves. He doesn't go up into the side. I guess we're not ready to go into this. Would you eat what? Singing sand from Okinawa. Here, I'll show you. JJ7 said, very cool stealth combat game. Yep. Oh, you're gonna see some combat in a second, just you wait. Hang on, did they come back? They did come back, I almost walked right into them. So when you're on this screen, they tell you about it. What? Oh, shut up. You walked into someone off screen. Uh, nonsense. He just blew himself up. What a dummy. Yeah, you bet I'm not. He also blew up. Good. Good. You've killed me. Good. Oh great, more ration. I guess I have two of the Oh, so this one you can have more than- Oh, you know what? Because I've been ranking up without it explicitly saying I've been ranking up, I can probably hold more the same type of ration now. Alright, so it should tell you right here. Of course she's not. Okay, well normally when I came in here she would tell us about the singing sand from Okinawa. And it makes your footsteps, your footsteps squeak so they can hear you. The special sand. So you'd have to crawl, it doesn't matter anyways, because he would have seen me. Because I decided to walk in the wrong place. Anyways. Time to battle this guy. Oh no, I deleted the missile, I'm an idiot. I shot the missile, but since I changed weapons right after, it made my missile not exist anymore. What? Why did that miss? Okay, I don't even get why that one missed. Why did that miss? I'm not gonna kill it now. Why are they missing? What? Wow. So, okay, I better just let it kill me. Why was it hitting sometimes and not other times? Kill me, please. Well, there was no pattern, it's just if 
If you select the screen that he's on, it should hit him. But for some reason... Well, Metal Gear is in the NES version of Metal Gear. It, you just don't actually fight it, it's not active yet. You, you blow it up before it becomes active. Sneak. I'm just gonna see. Him. Go away. Well, the thing is, my missiles are missing while it, he's still on the same screen that I fired the missile, so it's not like I'm firing too late. But. I guess I'll just try to- I'll just try to shoot it extra ahead of time, I guess. Because it would be different if like, oh, he left the screen and then my missile missed. No, like, it was still on the same screen and then it was still missing. So, I'm just gonna... I'll try to just do it way ahead of time. So I can see he's about to be on this one, so I'll launch it. There we go. Yeah, we'll just do that then. Wow. See? See how long he was on the screen for? Wow! Twice in a row. I guess you do need to hit it, like, before he's even- like, fire it before he's even on the screen. Okay, that one's still missed. I have no idea what the problem is. It almost seems random at this point. Well, I didn't have enough missiles to kill him, so now I have to die again. We'll smoke cigarettes to die extra fast. You think you need to line it up exactly where the reticle is? I mean, maybe I'm thinking too much like it's the Stinger from Metal Gear Solid, where it actually homes in on the enemy. What was that noise gets punched? Try that. I I guess I was thinking that it worked more like how they does in the other games, where as long as you're like close enough to it. You think you could just fire it from right here, but I don't want to risk wasting. I think you need to activate it first, the fight. Faster that, that that second one actually hit it like real quick. Yeah, I, 
think you're right. I was thinking like, oh, it'll hit whatever box he's in, but apparently not. There we go. Oh! Oh my god. Debris. I think there's ammo down here. sand. <laughs> oh. Problem is I don't know exactly where the game checkpoints anymore. Because in the other one it was every elevator would be a checkpoint. But this I don't know. I figure entering a building ought to be a checkpoint. I exited. Oh, it was just, it was just a loop de loop. And there was a ration in there. You're good with the cardboard box, right? Why not try posing as part of the cargo? I'm changing the frequency for our future. Why? Third, uh, third, forty third. Wait. The new frequency can be found in the f in a photo in the software manual. Gosh, I don't get why they. He didn't even say like, oh, because they're trying to jam us. He's like, I'm gonna change my phone number because I feel like it. All right, Metal Gear Two, Campbell's new. Changes it to forty sixty six. Oops. Why did he answer? I thought you were changing it. He doesn't answer on the new oh wait, it was sixty six. I was like he doesn't answer on the new one. That would be funny. For yourself, the enemy shoot. Okay, he's just giving us the same air device now. Well, first off, I need to find a box. I don't have one. Well, probably in the back of this is one. Yep, of course. I'm gonna immediately switch. To it's too late now. They're gonna see me. Okay, I'm gonna immediately switch to one. What? Ah, oh, screw you. He's definitely in that box. Oh, I can't switch to it right now. someone to see me. Oh, you know what? I probably just got on the conveyor belt, huh? 
There we go. I thought I had to, like, wait for someone to place me. That's so thing. Snake, I'm in trouble. They discovered my identity. Now I'm a prisoner. Help me. This one, I finally managed to contact Dr. Marv. Where are you? Give me your location. I don't know. I was blindfolded. I think it's somewhere in the tower building. Oh, yeah. Snake, I hear noises. Off to the left, I hear an elevator. To the right, I hear a noise like a pump. There's water flowing in front of and behind me. Water in front and behind. A pump to the right. And an elevator to the left. I think I've got it pretty good. Why do they make Snake talk so slow? Snake, I don't think they know about my radio yet, but come quick, I'll be waiting. I guess there's no basement. Holy crap, how high up? Why did it skip like 10 floors? Oh, hey, Mizmo. Oh, I saw a child up here. There used to be a veranda south of here, but the passage is buried now. I see. freaking found it all on my own. It's actually the first secret wall that I've found. Oh, damn it. Well, how do I... How do I detonate it? It just says can be detonated, but the button you press... In the first game, you could only place one at a time, so... It was- I, I think it went off automatically. Oh my god, you're about to run into it! I don't know how to- I don't know how to set it off, though. In the first game, either you pressed the same button again, or it was automatic. The kid, get out of here. Oh, it's the punch button, okay. They be making some weird changes in this one. Oh no, I don't have the right card. Because I found a secret I didn't need to find yet. while you're holding that, I guess. I don't know if they're child soul. I don't know what the heck's going on with those kids. They're just wandering around. There's one in the sewer. There's one... There's a couple near the swamp. I was surprised they didn't just make them see me immediately. And no one knows I'm under there. But let me guess, the guys down there know because they can see through walls, so they're gonna start firing at me. Yup, of course. Man, I really- this- 
This card is not coming in handy at all. It's three cards in one. The guy from the other room behind the wall saw me going to- It's so weird, the first game has much better, like, a better sense of, like, the enemies, like, if they can see you or not, and, like, if you're hidden behind something. This game is actually- It's really weird the way that this one works. They're being groomed to be soldiers? Yeah, maybe, because they're in this place, like this special, like, it's basically like a military base. Holy crap, we're going even higher this time. One elevator goes up 10 floors, the other one goes up 20 floors. That looks like a tripwire. I could crawl under it. Not risk it. Can this card open anything? Okay, thank you. Let's get kid. The one eyed man is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown ups. The one eyed man, huh? Sounds familiar. Uh oh. Oh, now I have the box. I can hide from cameras. We are in Zanzibar land, how'd you know? I literally- I actually instinctively tried to roll into the enemies like I was playing Pick a Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Must be talking about Odin, he's been watching too many Marvel movies. He's like Henry from No More Heroes. Oh, this looks like it led to somewhere, but it's just a dead end. Hang on. It's a secret wall. What the hell's the point of this area? I guess just for that ration. Okay, I'm gonna assume you can you can crawl under those trip wires then. Otherwise I think we're at a dead end. that noise? Wait, what? You bounce- it bounces you back? Pardon me? I need an explanation. Get everything you've ever seen in action movies. Cool, thanks, Colonel. That really is really helpful right now. Oh no, I don't have the number one fan code because I didn't. After dying a million times, I for the last time where I actually won, I didn't. I didn't answer the call in the minefield. Oh well, whatever. You 
And what is this? Glass? I broke it? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question it. I, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Because it didn't shatter. It didn't blow up, so it wasn't a tripwire. Of course. Can't open this door anyways. Speaking of eye patches, it was pretty neat how Metal Gear Solid 3, when Snake loses his eye, the field of vision is partially blacked out, even that's not how lack of depth perception. I I said it would have been cool if they did that. I didn't actually notice that that even happened. I, I don't I I must have missed that somehow. Oh yeah, I win the first person view plenty of times. Wait, someone was calling me. Oh, I thought someone was calling me. What was that? Hello. Dude, they can't see me through the walls. When they're not on alert, but then when they're on alert, they can see walls. Let me guess, this one's gonna go on the 30th floor. Actually, 10 probably, because it's going so slow. Oh, never mind. There's another secret on floor 10 I missed. Well, it's just a seat. You mean a secret wall? But is it a secret wall that I need to be messing around with right now? Because that one secret wall just led to a room with doors that I can't open yet. Hopefully it's not something really important. Boss? Whoa, what is this? A booby trap. Red blaster, that's right. A trap clever enough to catch a fox, or should I say a foxhound? No. You shouldn't say that. What the heck? Look at this guy. I am Red Blaster. And you're not going anywhere. My grenades will see to it that your death is slow and painful. Okay, I need a tip. Campbell, help. Won't always be able to procure supplies. Oh my god. If I had my number one fan number. Maybe they could have helped me. I forget what the frequency was. No, Mizmo, he didn't. S I wasn't saying that he saw me. I'm saying that he heard me, but when he looked over, he couldn't see me. But if he was on alert and he was on that side of the room, he would have been able to see me. That's what I was saying. The fact he heard me and looked my way but didn't see me is, is what I'm saying. Did 
this ain't too bad so far. Figure out how to break through these things. Oh, you just run into them a bunch of times. Holy crap. Alright, but how do I fight him is the other question. I wonder if I could shoot him. No, I can't I can't hit him from down here. It's definitely not the stinger missile. No, Fab Man was the last boss I fought. You just missed him. His name was Running Man. Except you had to use mines on him the other way around. This guy. Oh, maybe plastic explosives will be... I don't know. Nope. Can't leave. Maybe once I take out all the booby trap, all the, the wires. Because why else would that be blocked though? kills me. I don't know why I would want to fall down there, but I, I literally don't know what else to do. That guy. Where did they checkpoint me? Let's see. Oh wow, this time they checkpoint you at the boss. Why didn't they do that for the running man boss? So if there was, so it can't be something that I missed. You have to be able to fight him no matter what. There's no ammo in here either. So however you're able to fight him, it has to be... If you went in here with no ammo... Maybe you need to make his explosives hit something. What though? The door? Maybe this door. Can I just leave via the elevator? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, so I probably don't even have what I need. I'm gonna guess it's it's whatever that other sec the secret wall in room in the 10th floor that I missed, which is gonna be a pain in the ass to get back to. But, damn it, of course I missed. I found the secret wall that I didn't need to find yet, and then I, the one I missed was the one. I'm just guessing. Because the fact they let you leave that is making me think I don't have what I need to Now I have to go all the way back. <laughs> he just left? Colonel, why did that guy just leave? Snake, that's you. You're the one who left. 
Wait, can I crawl through here all the way to the other side? Of course not. That would have been too convenient. Wait, check. Oh yeah, stop after a point on the map. Look at that. Get out of here. Get out of here. See what freaking Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? I thought I tried punching this wall, though. Yeah, I did. So it's a different wall, then. Ah, here it is. Hopefully this kid gets out of the way before he blows up. Kid, get out of the way! Kid! Unless you put that away. Oh, I can't use this elevator. So I came down here for nothing. All right, I'm gonna have to just look into what I'm supposed to do because I'm I'm lost right now. Damn it! South of here, I found a bunch of things that look like green pineapples. Oh. Okay, so we need to find grenades to fight that guy, the green pineapples. Oh, hey Mike, doesn't this game have good music? It does have good music. There's a couple, there was like a part earlier where it almost sounded like a, me uh, like a Mega Man track. Here we go. Here we go. Good thing I read what that kid said or I, I would have been completely lost. Oh, the fair I found a bunch of things like green pineapple. I think I have all this plastic explosive. Alright, here's another one. I like how there's just kids wandering around while, while I blow up walls with dangerous explosives. One-eyed man's like, our daddy, he doesn't like grown-ups. I hate grown-ups, I hate them, I hate them. Just cut to, uh... Cut to Big Boss in the other room. I hate grown-ups, I hate grown-ups. Big doo-doo heads. He's just completely regressed. Could have been on the left side outside. Idea for a sketch two guys. Both of them are convinced that they're not trapped in there with the other guy. They're trapped inside with him. It could be pretty funny. Am I supposed to have the card for this to get the freaking grenades and I don't have it? I'm not finding another wall to blow up. I swear. Oh, I'm s no, I'm not stupid because all my cards are on one card, so I don't have different cards to check. So yeah, I just don't have the card. 
Unless there's another wall up there to blow up. Thought it would be going up. I'm trying to go down. But maybe here? Come on, come on. Give me something. Don't tell me it's a card that I'm missing. God damn. Let me check. Missing a freaking card, ain't I? in the building. He goes to the third elevator. Why does he go to that first? Oh, you can go down in the third elevator? I tried going down in the other two elevators. At that point, I was like, okay. Clearly can't do that. Where's up the second elevator? Why is he going down there? He went to the sewer. Ammo, plastic explosives. Oh. Okay, I guess I need to. Do I need to go down there first? God damn it, I- okay. Can I give you a key or something? I'm trying to- Okay, I- I'll go do that and then maybe it'll lead us to what we need to do. He's running around punching walls because that's what he learned from his lone papa. down there, I think is the third elevator. Gee, I mean, whoever the person I was looking at for reference, so I'm not just wandering around forever. You like the Fox logo? It'd be a cool tattoo. It's pretty cute. Actually, it's the second elevator, okay. Oh, god damn it, I keep- I forgot you have to punch the button. Mike, why didn't you warn me that you have to punch the elevator button? I spent like the first like 30 or 40 minutes of the game just stuck in the first area because I didn't realize you had to punch the elevator buttons. I was like, I don't know what to do. It's the start of the freaking game. So. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to go down there, was I? Now I'm gonna die. Great. Excellent. Oh god, where do I go? Oh my god, what have I done? I completely missed the room I was supposed to go to. I should just die. This is horrible. Okay, let's die, screw it. Oh my god, this is sending us so far down. I completely missed everything. Where am I? Oh, 
Whoops, I was looking at the chat. Oh well. Okay, now it's sending us back up here. So this is just an annoying part designed to annoy you. I realized. Oh no, there's the steps and I missed them. Is there another step? If I talk to that kid though, I bet you it's, he tells you some good information. Because you have to go all the way around that nonsense to get to him. The one I meant said we shouldn't go against the current. He said you can see lots of new things go along with the flow, do you know? Nope. I have no idea. So he knows that the kids are going to be flying through a sewer current with, and he, he knows that there's landmines in Instead of telling them to just stay out of there completely. What a good man. Are you friends with the blonde lady, mister? Uh, oh no! I did not mean to punch that kid. Did I lose health for that? I hope I didn't rank down. Please tell me I didn't rank down. Or I'm gonna have to die. I don't know, it's hard, I can't tell because there's no stars in this one. I think I just lost a tiny bit of health. Yeah, I just lost health. As long as I didn't rank down. As long as I didn't rank down, it's okay if, if children get uh, obliterated. Like, he's fine, he's back already, see? Big empty room. The one eyed man told us to tell him if we saw a man wearing green clothes. The blonde lady says he isn't here. Wait, what? The blonde lady says he isn't here. Oh, there's clearly a room to the right. Look at it on the map. But there's no secret icon popping up, so do I just... God damn it. They're clearly over there. You can see it. Well, ranking down in these old games, Mizma, also makes your... You, you you have less health, and you hold less ammo and stuff like that. What the hell is that noise? Oh wait, this is the middle room. There we go. There she is. Ponytail. Thanks, Snake. You saved me. What's wrong? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. What? You thought I'd be ugly? I should have met up with you sooner. Snake, about Dr. Marv, I'm pretty sure he's okay. What if the bottom line was cough? Snake, about Dr. Marv, I'm pretty... Pretty sure? I thought you said you'd made contact. Well, I haven't actually met him. He's under armed guard somewhere, but he sent a message by Carrier Pigeon. It might be some kind of clue. A pigeon? Where is it now? I found it, but it flew away just as I was about to catch it. I saw it heading up the elevator in the tower building. Tower the roof? Sorry, toward the roof? The bad guys are looking for it too. We have to find it before they do. It's our only clue to Dr. Mars' whereabouts. Pigeon hunt, what are you gonna do? I'd only get in your way, I wanna gather a little more info. I'm starting to like this place less and less and then this happens. If this keeps up, I'm really gonna let him have it. I see you've still got spirit, just don't do anything crazy. Enemy might be listening in, change our frequency to 14076. Get a copy of my IC card, it's card four. Here we go, this is what we needed.
Polly. What? <laughs> I don't know why I did their names backwards. That's the kind of thing you would say to your boyfriend when you kiss him goodbye. Then what, Snake? What should I say? Stay alive. We'll meet again. Sometime. Deal. Okay, luckily it's saved. Snake, you literally just left. As she did confirm, it's full of children, as if we didn't already see that. Now we have card four. I assume that means now we can get the grenades and then we can fight that boss. Yeah, I was looking at this video for reference uh, for like if I get really stuck and I noticed that the, the portraits are all changed. Like the doctor, um, one of the doctors we were talking to earlier his portrait in the original looked like Albert Einstein. But in this one, it's just completely different. Okay, so now I need to get back to floor 10. I have to go back to the first elevator, and then the boss is all the way on the third elevator. <laughs> so of course, they made it like the least convenient route possible. Oh my god, I just went the wrong way. I just went to the third elevator. Oh boy. Alright, Nizma, thanks for dropping by. Oh, you're probably gone now, but... Face you. Catch that. Did I just run into a guy, but somehow he didn't see me? Oh, maybe I could use card four on this. I can. Hopefully it leads to something. Oh, it's just the front door. Come on, all these freaking straight hallways is like, what do they expect me to do? I'm trying to wait a million years. I to check. Oh, no one followed me that time. Usually they do. Mike, I like how they tell you what's in the rations in this game. This one has sliced ham, chicken and turkey, spaghetti, cheese, and coffee. Mmm. I don't know if there's actually any differences between them. I think they're just for flavor text. Wait a minute. No, no, yeah, this is the right place, because this is where we're going to fight the grenades, probably. Spaghetti and coffee, my favorite. Hell yeah, another ration. This ration has... Beans and meatballs, beans and franks, and beef and potatoes. I like how it has beans twice. Yummy. The classic American dish of beans and meatballs. They really know us. You, you can almost tell this was made by a, a Japanese developer. 
There we go. Can't carry anymore. 30. Okay, that ought to be enough. Alright, let's go blow that guy up. And we got to go all the way back to the third elevator, which is like a million miles away. They really put, like, the sequence of progression in this area the most inconvenient possible. Like, the three elevators are, like, in that in intertwined, like, Cinnabon of, like, s of s big, long hallways where enemies are very likely going to see you. And if you really don't want them to, you have to, like, wait a long time to even have a chance. And then, they make the progression, like, oh, you want to go to elevator two? and then back to one, and then to three. But you wouldn't know that the first time. You would go into the first elevator first, and then the second elevator, and then the third elevator, and then you might not... Yeah, it's like... It's it's pretty mean. It's like a Final Fantasy XI dungeon. Is that how they're, they're structured? God damn it, he always turns around right there. Oh, it's because I step on the... the the, uh, grading, I think. Floor 30. And this might be a good place to take a break. I don't think I'm halfway through the game, judging by the, the video reference I was checking for when I got stuck. Yeah, not even close. It's like I'm like a quarter through the game. I didn't think this one was going to take this long. It took me like over three hours to get to where this person's only like an hour and a half in. And their video is like almost five hours total. Fight this jerk. US made fragmentation grenade. Got him. Got him. So tough anymore now that we can actually fight back. Oh wow, I'm surprised that one hit him. All oh, right, it's a green pineapple. I forgot. It's funny. You you actually um. It reminds me of Donkey Kong 64, where you actually use fruits as like ammunition. And Chunky Kong uses pineapples, but for him, it's like a bazooka. I think the grenades in that game are the oranges. Oh, the door just opens automatically. I see. Let's avoid the. Trap door all together. We didn't even get to hear dying words from that boss, he just blew up. That was it. All the bosses in this game blow up after you fight them, just like a Metal Gear Solid 3. Up. Oh. Secrets are they hiding? The secret 31st floor. Uh -oh. 
door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers. It's painted shut? But it's jury rigged, so you could probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. Oh wow, she actually helped me out here. Painted shut, huh? I mean, windows that are painted shut are pretty damn hard to open, but I feel like a tough military man. Oh, it's the carrier pigeon. How do I catch it? That didn't work. Like, maybe I should have let it land. I shouldn't kill it, right? That'd be messed up. I mean, the carrier pigeon should know its job is to... But it landed right on me and it didn't do anything, so I fear that I may have to actually kill it. I'm gonna try to make it so it lands on me again. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to kill it. Not working. I need to shoot it. Maybe I I need to use a stinger missile. That'll do the trick. doing wrong. He's not helping. I don't have my number one fan's n freaking number because you have to, like, I kept dying to this boss and then it sends you back before the swamp and then I had to keep, like, answering the call over and over again. And I thought it saved, but I guess I, I forgot to answer the call the last attempt where I actually beat him. So I don't have the number one fan, and I feel like they would actually help you and stuff. Oh, Jacobson, maybe he could help us. He likes animals. That's a wood pigeon, especially trained to act as a carrier pigeon. Did you know there are over 260 species of a pigeon in the world? Okay, but how do I catch it? They're 40 centimeters long and are found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Dr. Mark probably brought that one with him. Okay, how do I catch it? Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. Oh, uh, they're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you have some beans or potatoes, oh god damn it! I just got a large order of fries myself. All oh, right, I have to find a burger stand on the battlefield. Eh? Over and out. Okay, so hang on a second. If I happen to have the rations with beans and potatoes in it. Hopefully we have that right now, I have no idea. There it is, beans and meatballs, beef and potatoes. Okay, so I need to have this equipped. And then I just need to... I'm guessing I just need him to land on near me. I can crawl almost as fast as it flies. God damn it, it's... <sighs> I hate that when you touch the de the joystick, it skips text boxes. Let me, let me go back to the uh, replay so we can read it. Ah, uh, there's a piece of paper tied to the pigeon's like, Yeah, snake, we expected that. It's a carrier pigeon. <laughs> huh? The carrier pigeon had a note on it? What an unexpected twist. All right, help. W-I-S, Ohio, Kio, Marv. Biz, Ohio, Kio, Marv. Only the H is in lowercase. Some kind of message from doctor. I 
should have read that more closely. Only the H is in lower case. to someone who joins and has no context. Is the WIS for Wisconsin? Wisconsin, Ohio? Yeah, that doesn't really help. There are three elevators in the tower building. Uh, Oh, now she tells us. Well, yeah, I know already. I had to figure that out to find you. <laughs> this a goofball. Um, now, the only problem is I don't know where the checkpoints are in this game. It's, it's not just the... I don't think it's... The elevators, like in the first game. So I need to figure out. What the hell? Why is this guy calling some person that I don't have in my contacts? That's not fair. Okay, the per person in this video is calling someone that I don't have in my contacts named Miller. Is that Master Miller? Only the H is small. It's a number in digital notation. I don't know what that what that notation. Now you should understand over. Whoa! Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I just figured it out. I just figured it out, okay. My cat's mine. It is it's it's just upside down, that's what it is. I'm so dumb. The dot right there should have been obvious. I thought that it was like an abbreviation. So it's 0140... Uh... Dot... 50... Yo! I don't speak this language. What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Madnar. <laughs> I don't understand a word, but I have photographic memory, so I can... I can ask him. Marv can only speak Czech and Slovakian, and also Czechoslovakian. He's also the wary type, and especially so in his current predicament. Don't you, Madner? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it. Gustava can speak. But the STB woman who's protecting you? You'll be able to understand him, and Marv trusts her as well. Is Gustava still alive? Not to worry, Gustava's no ordinary woman. She's a seasoned professional. If we're captured, she alone managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. I doubt she's hiding somewhere inside Zanzibar land waiting for a chance. Does she have a radio? I was taken away right after we captured. The only thing I know is she's wearing an, an uniform. Maybe some kind of clue I can use. This is gonna be... Look, look at... Does she have... 
It's gonna be like Meryl in Metal Gear Solid 1, right? Look, look for the butt, is that what it's gonna be? That's all you need to know. Why not set up an ambush someplace that only a woman would go, like the ladies' restroom? Where the hell's the ladies' restroom? I've not ran into that. Yeah, Kojima ran out, out of ideas after the first two games. <laughs> okay. The only thing is, like, I wish I knew where the checkpoints were. Because I, I don't know when I should stop, because I don't want to, like, lose progress. Oh, we want to go back down. I I don't remember there being a restroom, though. Where the heck was there a restroom at? Does that mean I have to go back to that first building? check to see if I have to go back to the first building, that way I'm not just... Um... Hang on, Kevin. Yeah, it looks like he is, he is going back, actually. Okay, so we want to go... So now that we have card four, there's probably... That's, that's why I never saw the ladies' restroom there. It's because I... I needed card four. Punch the elevator button. I already did. Alright. Okay. Let's make our way back to that first building. And since we had to go all the way to the third elevator, it's the longest possible route to have to go back. Why do they have ladies' restroom if there's no women soldiers? What's up with that? God damn it. Split second later. Man. Forgot what's down here. Probably stuff. Oh, it's the exit! Okay, oh, that's right! Tweet, we got a shortcut back. I completely forgot. Good thing I checked that door. The first time I saw that loading screen, I thought it was a title drop. Because it was near the start of the game. Mike, do you want uh, imported sand from Okinawa? So you can hear when intruders are trying to enter your home. Singing sand, called it. Oh, here's the call. Here we go. I could get the number one fan call now. There we go. Number one fan.
Now I have to just think about doors I haven't checked yet. Now that I have the level 4 card. There's a few down here. That, that one in there I did check because I got, I think that's where I got the missiles. Oh, these doors in here actually. Oh, I haven't been up here. Oh, yep, yep, this might be the way, the way to go. But I haven't really checked this out at all yet. He's done. You remember your number one fan from Oblivion? Dust, another dust shoot. as well, right? Hello? There we go. <laughs> I'd say this one doesn't work. Oh no, I was taking a drink. That was very dangerous. Wait, it all it led back to the same sewer. I'm an idiot. I got another ration though, so maybe I'm a genius. Maybe the ladies' bathroom's in the sewer. Possible, right? Haven't been here yet. Another section of the sewer. Heard this ditch is connected to the next building by a jet stream. I feel like that means I don't want to go down here because I don't want to go to another building yet. I need to find the women's restroom first. Water in the ditch is freezing, you'll catch a cold if you stay in too. And then they would actually make you able to catch a cold of Metal Gear Solid 3. It never happened to me, but it, I know you had medicine for if you did catch a cold. Yeah, I don't think we want to go this way yet. But we know in Basement 2 there's a sewer connected to another building apparently. so close to getting hitted. Hey, you could always use more plastic explosives. Hey. You always use more ammo. Except when you can't carry anymore. You can always more empty room. Uh oh. If there's anything fun here. Oh. Hey, grenades! Grenade launcher! Rocket launcher! Heavy machine gun! Shotgun! Hey, more- Oh, RC missiles? That's different, isn't it? I haven't used RC missiles in this game yet, I don't think. I think I've only used the Stinger. Oh, I don't have the right card for this, but... Damn it, I'm an idiot. Body armor, hey, that's useful. It's 
So that was an optional find, but a good one. Wow, there's actually a corner here that I can hide in. My problem at the start of this game, or a lot of the games, like when they would find you, there wasn't really a place to hide where they couldn't see you, and then could never just evade them. Okay. So, and the, the other thing is their... Their POV for, like, seeing you is, like, way more generous for them in this one. And the first one, uh... They had to be, like, straight on your line of sight. They had, like, no peripheral vision. And this one, like, they could see, like, through walls half the time. I've already been in here. There's nothing really in there from what I remember. Elevator, elevator, elevator. like just like computers and stuff like that might be a room that might have a bathroom in it back there's more doors here I might not have checked yep see this one there we go this this is promising looks like bathroom tiles, but uh, there's a big mouse over there. Peter mouse. There's another big mouse. What's up with that? Okay. Didn't a dummy robot used to disable noise mode? What the hell's noise mode? I have no idea what noise mode refers to. Apparently there's another one up there. This is, it's some type of weapon. Come on. Oh right, the gas, I have to put on the gas mask. Hello kid. I hate people who use guns. I would never, ever use Never. I love guns. Uh, a mine? Okay. Oh, come on! Like, I knew what frame of animation that was currently on. Okay, RC missile. Nice. Russian? That is actually. I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything else in here for me. I go in here, the girl's in there, so it makes the alert mode go away automatically. That's good to know. So we should check up here now.
feel like I already checked this area out, but maybe I didn't have... Maybe I didn't get to check out everything because I didn't have hard yet. Oh my god, stupid frick. You automatically walked into lasers. That for off screen. I don't even remember this room. You automatically walked into a camera that was off screen. Here we go. A gas grenade. Oh, geez, flash. Didn't I find a flashlight a long time ago? I could have sworn I found a flashlight like a million years ago. Those are the light switch over there. Oh, there we go. You know what? I found a flashlight in the first game. That's what I was thinking of. Ha 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 ha
It's a box. Dude. I'm telling you, I've never gotten the boxes to work for me in any Metal Gear game. Even in the first Metal Gear Solid. There's only one bathroom here. It's on the southeast side of this floor, but I'm too scared to go there at night. Oh, it's dark. Okay, that's where we got them. Wow, perfect. I can't believe we're actually doing this in the right progression right now. So southeast of this floor. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. Yeah, I'm sure they'll give me some medicine. Hey, look at that. Ah. There's a bunch of soldier mannequins in there. Are you sure they're mannequins? Oh. That's... Holy crap, imagine if... She didn't tell us that and we walked in. She shouldn't have told us, I would have freaked out. Just a million soldiers. That's scary. Why are there mannequins? Really strange. It's for like promotional videos so they look like more impressive than they actually are. What? Oh. It was a trap. It's still a lot of money spent on mannequin. Just for this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Are those printers? They're enormous printers. Oh, here we go. I'm just going in here first. A bucket. Hell yeah. Can I open? The first Metal Gear game where you can't open lockers. Uh-oh, how do I get in? Oh no. Metal bucket used for cleaning bathrooms. Looks pretty solid. Wait a second. No way. You hide under a bucket? I never knew this. I only ever knew you hid under a box. Hang on. Maybe he'll take me into the women's bathroom? I might be overthinking. Oh, they just shoot at it. That's all they know how to do, shoot. Ration. Why did those rations look weird? Ugh, it looks moldy. Did I just replace my ration with some moldy ration? I don't like that, what happened? Uh-uh. I don't like that. Maybe I have to blow up the wall. Let's see, maybe we could call someone for help. Nothing. The dust shoots on each floor lead to the trash compactor. Okay, that's fine. Help me. What else? There's a bathroom on the fourth floor, that's where the soldiers' living quarters are. There's also a sauna, a mess hall, a locker room, and barracks. See ya. Oh, I just have to wait here, and when I see the soldier go into the bathroom, I follow them. It's literally just like Metal Gear Solid 1, I'm assuming. And since we're near the bathroom and we're in a bucket, it doesn't stand out. Oh, 
Go on. No, you wanna. Go on. Go on. No one's looking. What do you mean, what's that? Oh my god. Shut up. Why would they give you a bucket, which it says it's for cleaning bathrooms, if you can't hide in it next to the bathroom? I'm just gonna stand next. I'm just gonna hide near the bathroom, I guess. Forget the bucket. Screw them, I'm gonna use a bucket anyway. They were about to go into that lady's restroom. A cleaning bucket near a bathroom. That's way too suspicious. Wait, 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 why are they walking down that way? Oh my god! I don't remember them approaching from that way before! What is happening right now? I guess we can't just wait. We have to keep an eye and see which where they come in from. Bathroom's open now, can I just run in there? Go in, go in, don't mind me. Thank you, holy crap. Did go? Oh god, did I need to run in? Okay, now. Hello. Gustava? Yes, that's me, I'm Gustava Hefner with STV. You must be Solid Snake. We're after the same thing. Why don't we work together to save Dr. Mario? Have we met somewhere before? I'm a typical Western man, always ready with the pickup line. Ah, I remember you, Gustava Hefner, the Ice Princess. You took the gold at the Calgary Olympics. Must be mistaken. I don't think so. I know I've... Enough of this. What about Dr. Marv? I made contact with him over the radio, but he doesn't speak English. And he's safe. Good. I'm glad he had that surgery to implant the microtransmitter. Snake, lend me your radio. This is a... I don't know. At least he translates for us. Dr. Marv is safe for now. He says there's a large crevice to the north of the tower building. The prison is on the other side. Dr. Marv also expressed concern about Dr. Madnar. Don't worry, Madnar is safe. Right now we have to get Marv out of there. Got it? Okay, she's just... I know a shortcut to the crevice. There's an old sewer running under here. We could take the elevator down. Let's go. Whoa, there's an elevator there? What do you know? Oh, why is there an elevator in the women's restroom? 
Imagine taking the elevator up and accidentally just ending up in the women's restroom. Yeah, hey, you said you knew the shortcut. You should have hit the button. This is gonna take us right to the sewer basement. Oh, basement three? That's new. What if it was just a trap? Man. If I die. <laughs> Wow, the timing. I was just going to say, if I die and I see that there's a good checkpoint, which that ought to be, because that is a very cheap beginner's trap. Okay, perfect. We're going to stop here then, because we know there's a... Right, literally where we left off. Uh, yeah. I was worried about stopping for a while, because I wasn't sure when the last checkpoint would have been, but now we know. I'll save this too, for good measure. So this does seem like quite larger than the original game. I, I think we managed to get about one third of the way through, at least. Um, a, l a little more than one third of the way through. It's, it's almost about, it's about two hours out of a video that's almost five hours, although they know what they're doing. So. Yeah. So yeah, this one definitely has even more of that Metal Gear solid D, as i was told and it seems like the bosses are more frequent which is neat so uh yeah we'll we'll go ahead and stop for the night we'll probably continue tomorrow and until then have a great night and catch ya